happens when you're going somewhere else. It's all about Jesus and others, not about yourself. It's not about saving face. It's all about saving grace. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. Life is what happens when you do what you haven't done yet. You end up crossing paths with people whom you haven't met. It's not about reaching goals. It's all about reaching souls. Life is what happens when you do what you haven't done yet. Well, we were taught to plan our work and to work our plan. We prefer to have a handle and completely understand. We like to think that we're the one who's in control. But Jesus is the master of our soul. In life's river, there's an unexpected bend you never saw before. Don't panic on your journey. Get to know the other people aboard. It's not about the miles you go. It's all about the smiles you show. Life is what happens on the way before you reach the shore. We were taught to plan our work and to work our plan. We prefer to have a handle and completely understand. We like to think that we're the one who's in control. But Jesus is the master of our soul. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. It's all about Jesus and others, not about yourself. It's not about saving face. It's all about saving grace. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. It's not about saving face, it's all about saving grace. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. You know, we have our plans, and the Bible warns us about that, uh, presumptuously saying today, tomorrow, when we don't know that we've got one more moment than we're living right now. We need to live in that moment uh, by the grace of God and for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ and without any other presumptions. Life is what happens when you're on your way somewhere else Life happens when you meet someone you haven't met before. Life happens when you end up with a, an unexpected conclusion, something around the bend you hadn't seen before. It says in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 20, According to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So whether by life or by death, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. That's a, a wonderful, wonderful scripture that we need to commit to memory. And we need to live that out today. Whose ever uh, path you cross, whose ever life you become a part of, then accept that as from the Lord and be a blessing and be a witness and a testimony for Jesus Christ. We're ambassadors for Him today. Father, bless us as we go about our business and as we cross paths of new people in new experiences and in different places. I pray, Lord, that we'll always be uh, aware of those around us and sensitive to spiritual needs and help us to be used by You, Lord, in everything. With our head bowed and eyes closed, if you've never received Christ as Savior, right now is your time Call upon him, say, Lord Jesus, come in my heart and save me right now. 
And if you've received Christ, please let us know that we might help and uh, be a blessing to you. And soul winners, keep on winning those lost souls to Christ. What a blessing that is in these challenging times. And then we want to pray for people not to be taken by surprise when you come around the bend and there's an unexpected end. You know, there's something out there for you and me to give ourselves to that God might use us. Father, bless us. Help us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It's not about saving face. It's all about saving grace. Life is what happens when you're going somewhere else. God bless you today as you serve Him. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.